hey, I thought I'd just give a little demo of Always Ready. Um, it's kind of like the voice chat feature on the ChatGPT app. I'm not sure if you've used it, but it's running, always running in the background of your computer. So you can just press a hotkey to activate it and start talking, and then it can talk back to you. Uh, you don't have to switch windows or anything like that. It's just always there waiting. The basic thesis behind this project is that there's just a lot of value in just reducing the friction between you and the language model. Uh, so if you don't have to switch windows, um, if you don't have to type, uh, it can be a lot more efficient and you'll find new use cases for these language models. It's also integrated with the clipboard. So anything that has a text input or highlightable text, um, it's kind of integrated with. I'll just give a very simple uh, example here. Hey, could you um, write up a journal entry for me for what I did today? Um, I slept in a little bit this morning. I worked on game development stuff, but hit a few snags that I'll need to work out tomorrow. Um, I didn't really get to my ML studies today, but I did get my workout done. Um, and I worked on Always Ready a bit. I also recorded a demo of Always Ready. Um, and then can you also write down a couple things that I need to do tomorrow? I need to remember to publish the video and um, work on the game dev stuff that I got stuck on. Here's a journal entry summarizing your day and listing a couple tasks for tomorrow. I've captured the key details about your day in the journal entry as well as listing out the two main tasks for you to tackle tomorrow, publishing the video and resolving the game dev snags. This is now saved to your clipboard. Uh, you've put just like random dates in there. Can you remove the dates? Um, and also I forgot to mention that tomorrow I had to organize to see my family and go for a walk in the morning. Got it. Here's an updated version without specific dates and including the family walk. I've removed the dates and added the task to organize seeing family and going for a morning walk to... There we go. And I can cut it off whenever I want. So that there was an example of it saving to the clipboard, but I'll just give a quick little, little example of it um, reading from the clipboard. So I was... I'm daydreaming about getting a new graphics card when I can afford one. Um, so I can just highlight this text and copy it and then give the AI access to it and get rid of this window. I don't have to go scrolling over it. I can just talk back and forth while I'm doing my own thing. I can be wasting time on Twitter, playing a video game, whatever I want. And I can just have a conversation with this document without needing to swap tasks at all. So I'll get rid of that. Uh, from the text in my clipboard, what graphics cards were most people recommending? Was there anyone that people were recommending more than others? From the comments in the Reddit thread, the graphics card that was recommended the most seems to be the used RTX 3090 24 gigabytes. Multiple people pointed to that as the best option. Could you write up a little list of the recommended GPUs and put it in my clipboard, please? So I can also cut it off whenever I want mid-sentence, which is lovely because GPTs love to ramble. Here's a list of the recommended GPUs from the comments. Okay. I've summarized the top GPU recommendations from the thread. And that there is the cancel hotkey. Yeah, uh, let me know what you think. I would love to hear your criticism and thoughts. Um, yeah, the basic idea is just reducing the friction and allowing you to multitask while interacting with these language models. Cheers.